So I'm getting ready to install Big Sur for the first time. We're doing a clean install. Um, I set up MDS to do this. So what we're gonna do is uh, jump into utilities and terminal. Give it a hot second and then go to slash slash volumes MDS and run return it'll give all the information it's going to connect to Wi-Fi for me um, and then once it's connected it will pull up imager and we're going to try and install Big Sur with uh, imager so we're starting the application I'm going to get Big Sur installed whether it's with the recovery partition an imager or just a USB key with a partition of Big Sur, but once it's installed, I'll come back and we'll install uh, Monkey on this. Yep, we're running. We're gonna run the clean version right now, and then we'll try with a Monkey package um, within the installer uh, next round. So I'll come back after Big Sur is installed. So MDS did not work, but I have a USB key that. I have a bootable uh, installer of macOS Big Sur, as you can see right there. Um, so we're in the recovery partition right now, and it looks way different than uh, previous versions of macOS. It's got the very, it's got a very Big Sur feel to it, which fine. Oh well, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. We still have utilities of uh, the startup security utility in terminal. We'll quick look at startup security utility. Um, this has to be in recovery, not uh, the USB key. So um, no big deal here. I don't. I we'll look in, into that later. Um, what I care about right now is to go into disk utility. We're gonna uh, wipe our current uh, Macintosh HD and um, install Big Sur. So I'll catch back up with you after Big Sur is installed. So we're up and running. Big Sur on this MacBook Air. It took quite a while um, and the fans ran quite loud through the process, but we're up and running. So now we're going to go ahead and um, install Monkey. Um, it is in my MDS folder. Um, for now, MDS won't work. I did go look on uh, Two Canoes website. They're working on trying to get uh, Big Sur working with MDS, but at this point, it, it does not work. So what I need is out of, I think it's out of here, and packages, and that one there. And like it always is, you're gonna have to click on all of the choice uh, allows, but we'll continue, install, Use Touch ID. Install. All right, so now we can get my fingers out of the screen and close. And then take a quick peek in Launchpad. We have Managed Software Center. I am going to go ahead and reboot the machine and we'll get back um, honestly I don't even know what the machine's name is um, and I gotta get it set up with my monkey um, instance so once I've done all of that we'll come back and and check out monkey make sure we can install a few different things uh, we'll try Chrome we'll try Microsoft Office That'll be about it, and uh, and yeah, well, those are those are two very um, basic things you might need in a business. Um, but we'll uh, we'll restart, and I'll catch you back after I've set everything up with Monkey. So as you can see, we are downloading uh, Adobe Reader, and um, I had this actually. This device was still in my Monkey instance. Um, this. This monkey setup is set up with Google Cloud, um, and 
and yeah, it's pulling down um, all the latest updates and um, getting everything set for how this machine's supposed to be. Um, and so we'll get everything installed. We'll see what's working. The one thing I'm noticing with Big Sur is like after a reboot, it does take a while for things to to start working. Um, the uh, the menu bar up here at the top takes a while to show up. Um, I'm guessing I wait 15, 30 seconds, which in Catalina, I don't feel like I'm waiting that long after I've authenticated and logged in. So um, just a little frustration. I'm guessing the, uh, the M1 chip devices are gonna uh, speed that process up and make it feel a heck of a lot faster. But um, who knows there? So um, yeah, we're gonna let Monkey do its thing and then I'm actually gonna uh, wipe this computer and reinstall Big Sur, but using the terminal process to also put the Monkey package in the installer and install Monkey through that process. I can, I can certainly show you that process um, and when we get to it. So uh, we'll come back, check out the applications, um, make sure those are working, and then we'll uh, reset the, the machine with Big Sur, and, and I'll show you that process. So um, we'll, we'll see you in a hot second. So as you can see, Monkey dropped Chrome, VLC, the Microsoft Office Suite, and Handbrake, MDS, and TextMate. Um, if we open up MDS, not the same functionality that we anticipate. So, who knows? Um, could be issues with MBS, could be issues with how it runs on Big Sur. We'll try Handbrake. That works fine, so good there. We'll go ahead and run Chrome. ahead and use Chrome. We'll just go out to ESPN and see. Yep, everything seems to be working fine. Whether or not it's fast is a different story, but everything's working. So now we're going to see what it looks like to inject Monkey into our installer um, and, and go from there. So I'll catch you back with an engine when I'm injecting Monkey into our Big Sur installer. Um, so, see you in a hot second. So we're back into our uh, Big Sur recovery partition. We'll go into disk utility, let it load all our disks, which on this machine is gonna take a little bit. Um, this 2017 Air has been kind of frustrating. We will erase and erase the volume group. And now we don't need the erase install option in the installer. So let's finish this out. That's good. Go back in utilities and terminal. We'll do uh, slash, well, I wonder if I can just do start. Nope, can't do start OS install. So slash install Big Sur app, contents, resources, uh, start OS install, double dash volume is slash volumes Mac, and we'll do it in um, slash volumes Macintosh HD, and leave that double dash, in, and we want our agree to license to license and then install package slash volumes MDS uh, deploy shared monkey five and then we need double dash install package slash volumes MDS deploy shared uh, monkey kickstart 
and I'm typing out what I know is there and I can hit tab to finish it out. So now we can go ahead and hit return and it's gonna pull what it needs from the internet and install everything on this machine. So we'll let this run out and I'll catch you back when things are happening. So we'll select our region, uh, which is the United States. Continue, and then I don't need any accessibility. We're good there. Continue, continue. Um, we're not gonna migrate, so not now. We're not gonna sign in with an Apple ID. And we can agree to the terms and conditions. Then we'll use local admin and use whatever quality password you want for your local admin account and then continue. We'll just continue through our express setup. And like I said, this machine has felt kind of slow. Um, it is a 20, I don't think it's 2017, I think it's a 2019 MacBook Air. And we'll continue through this process and screen time and all of this other fun stuff. Yeah, this is a 2019 MacBook Air. It's, it's slow. I ordered an M1 um, 7 uh, GPU or 7 core GPU machine and that will be coming here shortly and we'll go over that device and how fast it feels and maybe even do a, a video edit on that. So as we're getting in, we'll check here and see what's going on. I am recording over this in post. Um, it originally didn't have any audio, so um, that's the joy of what's going on now. And I now see the camera went out of focus, um, which makes it even more fun. Not really. But um, what we're seeing now is we have Managed Software Center, and it didn't function right. So we will be rebooting here shortly because we're seeing we don't have anything. Um, so as you'll see here soon, I'm gonna reboot the machine because um, it's gonna fail out and not understand its own configuration. Um, but after a reboot, as you'll see here, um, Manage Software Center will start up, we'll get all our apps, everything will work perfectly. So what I made the mistake of doing was putting a package without a restart on this MDS provisioning. So what I mean is that the monkey package that I used for this was my update package. So if you've already got monkey installed on your machine, you can just update the version of monkey and you should do a restart, but you don't have to do it right away. But for the first configuration, you have to do a restart. That's one of the requirements of monkey. I did not put that um, that restart in because this was a custom made package. This wasn't the monkey package you get from monkey's website. Um, this was custom made so it can connect to Google Cloud and has the appropriate security for the Google Cloud connection um, along with the middleware that it needs. And then it essentially I dropped those into a temporary space and a script, a post install script pushes them out to the appropriate locations and gives them their proper executable rights to where it needs to be in the machine. So as you can see, we're already starting Monkey. We're um, connecting out to Google Cloud, checking for all the updates that are required. You can see it has um, it now downloading Adobe Reader. It'll download everything and just install before you're, you or any user is able to even log in at, um, at this login screen it's gonna make sure that all the software that's necessary is on this machine. So if you've liked this video and you wanna see more monkey content or any other tech content, please consider subscribing to the channel, clicking the bell icon for notifications. It will let you know when I post more content. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, it helps me out with the, the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.
See ya.